must purchase a point of sale machine and must have the technical ability to operate it, mount it and connect it to the portal. And for every transaction they conduct, there must be a loop between them and the Uganda Revenue Authority. We are not saying no. We are talking about the canon of plowing taxes and taxation, which is saturnity. When I set up a business, I must be certain of the taxes that I'm going to encounter. That is one. But also the proper system of plowing them from society. Now, these people do not have the technical ability. That is number one. Two, they have not been educated on the use of the IFRIS. But also, it is uncertain that when it comes at such a time when they need to invest, they are running on loans, it is choking to them. Secondly, right honorable speaker, the traders are saying, when I go to import goods from abroad, I must be certain of the taxes that have been captured in the tax codes here by parliament. But someone goes and procures goods, when they arrive, they are given a value. They pay a certain value. After payment of a certain value, there is a second evaluation. And they tell them you have to pay for a top-up. This issue of top-up is creating confusion. Then even after paying for a top-up... Is the top-up outside what was approved by this house? Yes, absolutely. It is at the discretion. <laughs> Tutu semubuli ofisi, nete tujie yo chabu wangu zicho na. Kwe kusawa ntugama, ntika katu ya shiba shiganyi. Katukole nembera, tusoboro kufuno mkule mbeze uwe kwanga. Netuwa gama mbela yonafa, tuwa gala mkule mbeze uwe kwanga, ya batu nyonyola, echisemba yo. Zerwe gaba Moses, basebo neba nyabo, nganze chairman katukaza Nations Dealers Association, atera nganega tila mchibina chafuta, echigate vina biaba subu zibyo na, ngabachi ita Federation of Uganda's Traders Association. Fetu wabade tadewe mbela jemuala bia unako uwe gulo. Mgana yebye tuwa ugera sibia fengaba kule mbeze. Biabade dobo zili ya bantu wabanja abatu bade mabega. So mbela mwetuli basebo neba nyabo. E gulo tuwa wabade tu kungubaga. Nga tuweba zaba subu zibo na. Unako uwe gulo tetuwa yona onyeko sasili ya government ili yona. Wadebanda faba kwa atidua. So mbela mwetuli tugeza ako kula gobu talibu mativu wafe. Nga tuwe ngeji zebuli office zizo na. Nga tuwa gamba bae chino na chino na chino na chino. Nebye tuwa mtu jaebi fana nyi. Na kulaga ntu wabadeko na wabakungu nga tuwali chisalu wawo. Nebye tuwa nyonyole. Ensonga za fe. Ensonga ya tuziba nyonyola. Neba zitegera. Muku zitegera. Neba tu gama tuwa tuwa de naku satu. Munaku satu. Kufafe tuwa wasewe tuwa gama tuko zebio na. Za asimwe. GNTV. Atov. Appreciate your desire. And now, the Ministry of Internal Affairs in the Directorate of Citizenship and Immigration Control has called upon all non-Ugandans to legalize their citizenship. Derek Igenye says that this process will be carried out across the whole country. We have more. Um, Non-Ugandans who were born in Uganda, to especially to the, the father is the non-Uganda, and mothers are also non ugandan so, so many of them, they are born here, some of them have gone to school here, they have done literally everything in the, in the country, but have never registered as citizens. We want to inform uh, those category of people that they are not Ugandans. It is not uh, automatic for you to become a Ugandan by virtue of your being born here in the country. You do not become a Ugandan automatically unless you are born to either both of your parents being Ugandans or grandparents or one of those parents being a Ugandan. If both your parents are non-Ugandan, you do not uh, uh, automatically become a Ugandan. However fluent you are in the local dialect or in the local language, in Uganda. So we have a category also of, uh, of our brothers and sisters from um, the neighboring country who were born here and uh, who are referred to in the constitution of Uganda as a, a tribe of Banyarwanda. We have that tribe, but 
The problem is not immigration officer, the problem is not those new brothers and sisters of ours, the problem is the law. So we want to call upon uh, those uh, groups of people to, I think, keep lobbying uh, the Parliament of the Republic of Uganda to amend the law to the effect that uh, if you are born in Uganda, you automatically become a Ugandan, irrespective of uh, whether your parent is a Ugandan or not. With Uganda, uh, ours is not automatic. Those who are put in the constitution, these are um, Banyarwanda who were found in Uganda when boundaries were being demarcated and that was 1926 in February, February 1926. So all those who were found on the Ugandan side after demarcation of the boundaries became Ugandans and those are the ones who are in the constitution known as now, outside that, you have got to apply because you have also a window of people who are born here, people who have grown up here, people who have gone to school here, people who are doing everything here. You can still register as a citizen via a window of uh, naturalization. I have a whole document on uh, who is a citizen of Uganda. It is about uh, 20 pages. I will share it with you so that uh, at a later stage in your publications and in your uh, interface with some of these uh, complaining communities you can be able to explain za asimwe gntv atov in Kabale, in a gesture of support for sports development, the former Kabale municipality member of parliament, Banyayanga Andrew Aja, has donated four full sets of sportswear to Uganda College of Commerce Kabale. Students, together with their leaders, have thanked the team for the have more. In a gesture of support for sports development, the former Kabale municipality member of parliament, Banyayanga Andrew Aja, has donated four full sets of sportswear to Uganda College of Commerce in Kabale. The timely contribution comes after ahead of UCC inter-college competitions scheduled from 10th this month to 19th this month in Kabale. The donation consisting of two football kits for both girls and boys as well as two full kits of volleyball and netball was delivered by the team led by Mr. Mutabazi Sam alongside Tumukunde Kenes and Julius Ndemere. Expressing the gratitude for the donation, the principal of Uganda College of Commerce Kabale, Mr. Wajira Bernard, highlighted the college's previous shortage of football jerseys, footballs and other necessary equipments. Wajira emphasized that the donation would motivate all students to participate with determination aiming for victory in the upcoming competitions. And I think it is going to be to go a, lo a very long way. And <coughs> Whether young Kura so no is Oshang and uniform drop and up sets in Yenji Nana 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 so dressed in Mcharenji, well happy, I think, Gana Aja, Yat Postinga, Yat Tamamani, so it's Charenji of the Ramu Kipun and Teve Takumara, Yachin de Ramu. Furthermore, he revealed that students will be participating in various games, including football. Athletics, volleyball, and netball. And we have and
Scarlett Nishaba, the Vice Guild President of Uganda, College of Commerce, Kavale, echoed Nwajira's sentiment expressing gratitude for the donation of the college's exciting sportswear had worn out due to daily training, raising concerns about their ability to participate. So happy about the surprise Honorable Ajo has given unto us. We are so appreciative and grateful for his work towards our, our games that are soon coming from 10th to 19th. That is intercollegiate games. We are really appreciative and we believe that his support has boosted Amra to work harder to the success of our games. Uh, due to the fact that we've taken a long time training, they had already worn out. So we, we've been on, on on pressure on how we can get a new kit for, for, for us to use to use. So it is of today that Honorable Aja Bagayana has really fulfilled our desire. Andrew Bagayanga Aja, represented by the team led by Mtawazi Sam, estimated the value of the donated sportswear to be approximately 10 million Ugandan shillings. He also urged the public to embrace sports, emphasizing the importance of fostering holistic development. Donated four sets yeah, for the four disciplines. One, football boys, full jersey, top, short, stockings and football. Second, uh, football girls, top short stockings and balls. And then netball, full set also, top short stockings and balls. Same applies to basketball, full set, top short stockings and balls, plus pumps, uh, for of all I think. Uh, and balls of football, of course. So that's why we're here. In football for a very long time, we know the challenges of football, uh, not talk to football only, but sports at large. So we have advised the sports tutor eh, to keep them safe, make sure at least eh, it pushes them up to the end of this tournament. After this tournament, you never know. Next time they have another tournament, you can as well come in and help them. Like we have the generous donation from Honorable Andrew Bagayanga Aja is not only a boost to UCC Kavale but also signifies a commitment to promote sports and youth development within the community. As the inter-college competitions draw near, students are now equipped to motivate to give their best in the field aiming to bring home trophies and honor their courage. For GNTV at 12, Clinton Nahawe in Kabale District. Thank you, Clinton Nahawe, for that report. And our dear viewers of GNTV, thanks for being part of us. From the time we started to the time we are coming to the end of our today's bulletin. I'm Aliana Tumandize, GNTV at 12. And up next is a lunch hour service at King of Kings Church. Please come and attend with the beloved men and women of God in the afternoon. <music>
Live. Sanye me 